Favorite TV, Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, O oh Father, now I dance like a winner. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. life. You have blessed me, O oh yeah. Father, now I dance like a winner. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, O oh Father, now I dance like a winner. I will praise you, O Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, O oh Father, now I dance like a we praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, oh Father, now why this? I can't win no more. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, oh Father, now I can't win no more. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, oh Father, now why this? I can't win no more.
hands to him and just bless him. He's worthy of our praise. He inhabits in the presence of his people. Lift our hands to him and bless him. Bless him. Bless him. He's worthy. He's a great and awesome God. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. to him and bless him, bless him. His word, his word. Jesus, you are worthy. Jesus, you are worthy. Oh, we give you glory, Jesus. Oh, me. Now I turn away.
last man I mean last Friday uh, talking about uh, generational blessings in the matter of activating them and also I will add a word correcting because sometimes you can correct what has gone off praise God there is a very powerful secret power of generational blessings uh, we want to dress it let it become a reality for us praise the Lord and it's connected with um, wealth and prosperity and things like this let me first uh, revisit a few foundational scriptures and I just to remind you faith still comes by hearing amen may your faith begin to rise up um, 
I shared some scripture yesterday. One scripture, Psalms 14 and verse 5. The Bible says, There they are in great fear, for God is with the generation of the righteous. Uh, this is Psalms 14 and verses 5. Now, there's so much in the background, but basically why we're reading that verse, that verse is because I wanted you to see a description uh, where God describes our people as a generation of the righteous. And I want us to be part of that generation. Kuna kizazi cha wateule. Sinisawa. So kila, every season, every generation has a righteous people. Even in Sodom and Gomorrah, Abraham, the friend of God, was negotiating, saying, if there are 50 people, are you going to destroy them? So there must be a people that are referred to as righteous. I hope you are one of them. Are we together? Then in Psalms 112, verse 1 to 3, Psalms 112, verse 1 to 3 says, Praise the Lord. Uh, blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. Uh, don't worry, we have a new person there. He's learning the ropes. He will get verse 1 of that Genesis, I'm not Genesis, Psalms 112, verse 1 to 3. Praise the Lord. Blessed is a man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. That's a righteous man, right? Because you can see he fears God. Uh, he, he delights in God's word. Commandments is God's word. His descendants, verse 2 will be mighty on the earth. That's a generational thing. The generation of the upright will be blessed. So if you fear God and you're walking in his precepts and you follow his law and his command, then guess what? God promises the generation that will come from you, your descendants, will be mighty. If your descendants are going to be weak, you know why then they're going to be weak. Is because you didn't stand in as a righteous generation. Are we together? So then verse 3 says, Wealth and riches will be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. I like the idea of wealth and riches and righteousness walking around together. They don't want us to talk about wealth in church. Any pastor preaching on money, wealth, prosperity, increase, na vitu kama hizi, and we said we don't fear them. We must, because sisi atuna shida kubiri, the blood of Jesus, we preach about it. Righteousness, we preach about it. The, the, we are going to heaven, we preach about it. Some will go to hell, praise God. You know, uh, you don't praise God for those going to hell. But this is also part of the whole counsel of God, that the Bible is very clear on one generation passing on good values and virtues to the next generation. Are we together? Na wengine enu zile vitu mkonazo ni vile mulipewa na kizazi richo pita. I hope you are given good things. One of the greatest things that can happen, I don't want to emphasize on it, in a funeral service of somebody old, is to really glean, find out good values you can learn from that person. So that you say, though so and so left us, but there are some good things that are passed on to the next generation. Uh, so that's what these scriptures are saying. One of the things that must reach the next generation from you is righteousness and wealth and riches. Good. Let me add more verses. <laughs> Proverbs 13, verse 22. The Bible says something uh, good. Proverbs 13, verse 22. Uh, it's, it's on the way coming. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. You see, generational. I'm trying to establish. It is in the word of God. Generational blessing. So a good man. D don't think about a bad man. But a good man. 
Are we together? And that good man there includes a good woman. I like God for that one. Amen. So, uh, leaves an inheritance to his grandchildren. I was thinking about it. I never used to think about it. So, when I became a grandfather, I began thinking, so, haka kakatoto haka ndiyo, hata siyo, siyo mama yake, niyako, Jesus. It's not fair. But anyway, even my children have something from their grandfather. So, kila mutu wako na yake. Wow. But the wealth of the sinner, you know, is stored up for the Russians. The second part of that verse is a very famous dimension. And, uh, but you can notice the wealth of the sinners connected with also uh, generational placement. Praise God. So generationally, may your grandchildren lay hold of this wealth that is stored up in your nation. I said your grandchildren. You're in a mechanic of future. Okay, let's say we are all grandchildren now of somebody. So it is our time now uh, to locate what was stored up by the sinners in the previous generation. Are we together? And so, may there be something we can pass on to the next generation. Now, God gave Israel a very major, big scripture in Deuteronomy 7 verse 9. This, I read this as says, surely, God is amazing. In that chapter from verse 5, Deuteronomy 7 from verse 5, he's telling them, I did not choose you because you are very great people. Uh, you know, but thus you shall deal with them. Uh, you in chapter A, yeah? you shall destroy their altars and break down their sacred pillars and cut down wooden images and so forth. The next verse, uh, you can read it from verse 1 4. You are a holy people to the Lord your God. The God, your God, has chosen you to be a people for Himself, a special treasure above all the peoples of the face of the earth. He's telling Israel right from verse 1. If there were many uh, kings, Amorites and Canaanites and whatever, seven major kings to fight with. And I chose you not because you are mighty, but because I loved you. Then in verse 9, he gives them this uh, promise. Therefore, know that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations. Hey. With those who love him and keep his commandments. So if you love God and you follow his word, God is ready through his promise to ensure for the next a thousand generations something from you will be flowing to that generation. Because God is from everlasting to everlasting. God is never affected by time. That's why when we get saved, we are given something called eternal life. Eternal life is an ending life. It's the life of God granted to Jesus then given to whoever gets saved. The life we have is the original life that was with the Father. It's called Z-O-E in Greek, Zoe life. An ending life, eternal life, praise God. So that it's possible then for a thousand generations, oh my God, to be blessed through you. God promised Abraham their father in Genesis 12 and verse 3. He says, and through you all the families of the earth will or shall be blessed so from abraham can you imagine all the families of the earth one time amos the prophet said to israel you only do i have of all the families of the earth it was very special for god to have israel as his family beginning from here so god is a god of generations to go pomoja now, last week, Friday, I defined two words. One, blessing, and then I defined a generational blessing. Let me just remind you, then I go to examples. A blessing is a form of words which, when spoken, impart spiritual power. So, these are form of words, when they are spoken, they impart spiritual power, opening the way for us in life. So we need words spoken over us that then will open way for us in life, giving us approval and confidence. These are words when spoken, they give us approval and confidence. 
and then they give us power to succeed yeah ask yourself do i have power to succeed or there is something in me that causes me to fail this teaching is to help us to know that we have power to succeed are we together it is the blessing is a grace that enables us to become who i mean to become what we are meant to become is that grace that enables us to become what we are meant to become and to achieve what we are meant to achieve so we need a blessing but then what is a generational blessing a generational blessing is a kind of blessing that flows from one generation to the next and it passes from father to son and should be passed on from one generation to the next generation praise god kwa hivyo hii baraka ya vizazi ni vizuri tuwe nayo kwa jina la Yesu na you see let me tell you a formula that god uses not a formula but a pattern any time god wants to do something in our lives he gives us the opportunity to hear the truth about it are we together if you find yourself you have no idea about the gifts of the spirit and how they operate and you you don't discern nothing you don't get a word of knowledge you don't prophesy you have no healings and no miracles no i mean so what you need to do is sit down be taught the word of god concerning the gifts of the spirit then you will hear then you begin to desire do you understand and then when you begin to desire out of that revelation then you begin to believe with your heart then begin to take certain steps then god will surprise you you will just greet somebody and then the lord will tell you something oh yeah so welcome to that dimension are we together so even concerning the matters of generational blessing you need to hear and discover oh oh i am part of a great move of god in my generations praise the lord do you know whatever scripture calls generational curses exhaust is this someone rebelled against god's word and became disobedient and established a pattern of iniquity that became an empowerment to fail for the next generation but when people believe god begin to follow god's word begin to submit to the word of god they open up their lives for a huge move of god so whether your child number 4 or you are the first born or the last born it doesn't matter in your time there are blessings coming from the top you need to capture them and you need to consider how you live is impacting the next generation let me say something right here may god give you an opportunity to have a generation after you you are not the last person in your generation that when you die nothing coming out of you i pray for you in the name of jesus kama kulikuwa na shinda mbeleni kwamba wewe hauoleki haiwezekani umekwama na nini naomba mungu afungue njia praise the name of jesus hata kama utawezeshwa na bwana ku adopt a child and become a father and a mother praise god you instill your values into that child ili kwamba na yeye katika wakati wake utakumbukwa kama mwanzilishi wa vitu vizuri katika mtoto huyo na watoto wao i pray each one of you will pass on a blessing to the next generation Hakuna mtu ataishia tu hivyo hivyo hapana haiwezekani Praise God Now let me give you examples of these generational blessings uh, first one is the original blessing Tulisoma hii Genesis 128 uh, God created <laughs> uh, God hata kabla ya create wanadamu first of all, Genesis 121 and 22 Mungu alibariki watu wengine na tulisoma hii last Friday He decided to bless God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves with which the waters abounded according to their kind their kind and every winged bird according to its kind and god saw that it was good hapo ametengeneza wanyama nyoni i mean sorry sio nyoni zinaitwaje ndege <laughs> oh lord god has many people ndege za ngani kisha the next verse the bible says and god bless them surely if god can bless birds he can bless you 
And he told them what he told men. Or he will tell men the next few verses. Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. Then verse 26, God now says, let's make man in our image, in our likeness. Praise God. 27, he created them male and female, created he them. 28, and God blessed them. And what did he say? Five things. One, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue, and have dominion. Praise God. That's the original blessing. Now, you know by chapter 6 of Genesis verse 12 and 13. Genesis chapter 6, especially verse I think 12, the Bible says, so God looked upon the earth and indeed it was corrupt and all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. Mungu akachoka na hii dunia. Akachoka na watu. Verse 13. So akambia na wafanya hivi. The end of all flesh has come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. So our alibariki, akawana marizana na wawo. Yeni ya muanzilishi ya na uru wa kufanya vila nataka. Kumina ine, akambia nuhu fanya hivi. Make yourself. Wewe jitengneze mana wengine marizana wawo. Ark. Ask your neighbor, are you in the ark? There used to be a mze who used to preach hapa. Sija wapia story leo. Pole. Kulikona mze hapa. Railways. Open air in the 90s. Evangelist Karanja. What a great man. That man. So one time there was a band that came from Nyeri called Fisher's Band. Walikona some of their remnants. Wakanza kuimba ka wimbo. Kwa sababu anajua yu story. You know, wakanza kuimba. Are you in the ark? Or you are outside? You know, I love those songs, those days. Are you in the ark? Sio isi za juu, zizu, kadu, kandu. Pitu wata ujui, vijana, asama nini. Zero original songs, ndio. Hey, zirizo pendwa. Lakini sawa, imbeni nye zenu kama munaelewa. You know, some of us have to listen twice. Anasemaji. Because maneno na nini imechanganyikana huko wata tuje munasemaji. Unless mutupe lyrics. Sini sawa. So, God had marisana na watu. That's the point. Don't get lost. So, chapter 9 of Genesis... He decided to start afresh with the Noah. So by this time, dunia imearibika, imearibiwa, wanyama na nini, kuna kandege kalitungwa na Noah haka kurudi. You know, it was strange. So God decided to give Noah the same blessing he had given the original man. This is generational. And this is many years later. So God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, be fruitful, and multiply and fill the earth. So when you hear generational blessing, this is this is it. Of course, in the New Testament, it is in Christ. Jesus is the route you need to follow to get any blessing. Uzi taribu, uzi jaribu njia mkato, upitia Yesu. Hello? Na wezi kununua hi, you can't give even a special seat to get a generational blessing. Hakuna, yuna pitia wakovu. Kwa hivyo usikiri ya tine na wachorea Atipada kwa fundisha nyo Apana tufanyi yyo serakazi yapa Ya we believe in the original word This is an apostolic house We are very keen on doctrine Diyo naona tuko wengi saan hapa Kama tungekua tunauza vizi tuange wana line up kule chini Wapate kanyoele ambayo kona upako Pure kabisa Lakini hapa tunapia na original word I must congratulate you for coming here for the word Praise the name of Jesus Na sinja ingili ya mutu Praise God so, kule chini, Noah kamua atabariki watoto wake. Ebu, tuangalia verse 26. Uh, chapter 9, verse 26. Uh, Noah na ye, akamua hiki tusitaka na yo. So, hapo kulikuwa na kashida kadogo, vile Noah alibihewa wakura matunda yake sana sana. Akalewa kidogo hapo. Ana sasa hana kazi. Aliubiri 100 years. Kazi kaisha. So, hana kazi. Kukura kura tu grapes hapo. Tuka, tungine tulikuwa tumekaka. So, akalewa. So, <laughs> Na kichana moja ka misbehave, sindio? So, he said, blessed be the Lord. Okay, tusome 25. Tururi nyuma kidogo. Tore nani uhia na barikiwa hivi. Praise God. 25. Ama wae niki. Cast be Canaan, a servant of servants, he shall be to his children. Uyu kichana di alifanya makosa. Na kuna watu alijarimu kusema tiyu ni muafrika. Canaan, apana sikubali. Ati wanafikira sisi wa Afrika tumelaniwa. Wee, siya tujalaniwa kitu. We are the original. The first man was created from dust. Usha yikuwa na dust ya white. Utaanza kutuwe shimu. Verse 26. So he said to this guy. 
Uchokozi. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem. Oh, because Shem, they did a good job. And make Canaan be his servant. Those are house issues they are sorting. Maneno ya nyumba. No, ameona kuna watu wengine wengine bure kabisa amejua anafanya akamu wacha ni wa reorganize wewe Kenan utatumikia utatumikia yule mwingine 27 and may god enlarge japheth so that means may japheth multiply ama namna gani may he dwell in the tents of shem and may Kenan be his servant is that 28 and I think 29. So Noah lived after the flood 350 years. Praise God. So we thank God for Noah. He was given the original blessing and he passed it on. Amen. Now Abraham number 2. Uh, so that was Adam the original blessing and Noah. So now we come to Abraham. Genesis 12 uh, verse 1 and 2. God had instructed Noah years before to get out of his country and from his family and from his father's house to a land that God would show him so verse 2 God made a promise he said what and i will make you a great nation and i'll bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing i like it when god blesses you he expects you to be a blessing oh yes mungu akikupea chochote anatakiwa sasa upee wengine be a blessing be a blessing Glory to God. Verse 3 and I will bless those who bless you. But anytime there's a blessing, there is a competition called a curse. And that's a very strong force to cause somebody to fail. Laana ni nguvu ya ajabu ambayo inazuilia watu. So Mungu akasema hivi, let me take care of that realm of curses for you. Whoever curses you, I will deal with him. Uh, hey I like my God. And you Abraham, in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So the original blessing now has been placed on Abraham. Glory to God. Abraham has it. He has it. He has it. Chapter 14 uh, of this Genesis verse 19 or verse 18. Let's go to 18. Abraham meets Melchizedek king of Salem who brought out bread and wine so he was a priest of the most high and then 19 the bible say and he blessed him and said bless be Abraham so Melchizedek amebariki Abraham of God most high possessor of heaven and earth in other words this blessing is coming from this man Melchizedek without father without mother this is a type of Christ in the old testament in theological studies we trace Christ in the old testament and Melchizedek is Christ in the old testament are we together many times when you see the angel of the lord appear to Gideon and say it, that is Christ appearing to Manoah Christ appearing to uh, to Gideon Jesus in the old testament he showed up in Babylon when the three hebrew boys were thrown into the fire he became the fourth man hey he's always there he shut the mouth of lions they couldn't eat daniel christ is everywhere in the old testament so here he blesses abraham then look at how verse 20 abraham responded and bless be god most high who has delivered your enemies into your hand this is after they had come from the slaughter of kings in sodom and gomorrah And then Abraham responded what did he do He gave a tenth uh, a tithe of all this is eighth most of you guys have been paid by your employees if you have not paid your tithe you are still scratching your head I think you have a spiritual problem Yeah you sat under wrong teachers by now you should have released the tithe from your house to your church where you feed the word of God So I'm speaking for your pastor tell him to send me an offering Amani ya mwe nyinyi ni kanisa mpya which is not possible praise god kila mtu arudi kwake na arupeleke tithe yao tithe yake huko tuko pamoja amen so abraham is blessed by god he promised and then melchizedek comes to supervise and to check that this guy is blessed let's move quickly 
uh, thirdly to Isaac because God is a God of generations is a God of Abraham Isaac and who and Jacob but before we get to Isaac I've remembered uh, Genesis 22 verse uh, very famous verse we read it here many times 15 and 16 uh, 17 Genesis 22 when Abraham tried to offer Isaac his son you remember Isaac was a sacrifice and an angel of the Lord spoke second time from heaven this is what he said in verse 16 and said by myself I have sworn says the Lord because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son your only son what an act by Abraham glory to God in blessing I will bless you and in multiplying I will do what I'll multiply your descendants as the, as the stars of heaven and as a sad which is on the seashore and your descendants shall possess the gates of their enemies. So this blessing of Abraham kila wakati mungu anakumbusha anamkumbusha kila wakati umebarikiwa hata leo tunawakumbusha umebarikiwa sema nimekubali nimebarikiwa praise God so let's see how this blessing went to Isaac 26 Genesis verse 4 uh, the Bible says uh, here in Genesis 26 Isaac uh, 26 26 verse 4 here Isaac has been instructed by God there's a famine don't go into the wrong place maybe we can go back at, at one verse there there was a famine in the land besides the first famine which was in the days of Abraham and Isaac went to a beamer king of Philistines in Gera verse 2 uh, then the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land, live in the land which I shall tell you. I like the way fathers are given instructions. Utter us, we are also given instructions. If you follow instructions, you walk in the blessing. You know, instructions. And I'm to me, son, dwell in this land, and I'll be with you and bless you. Hey, Isaac, I'm a promise you, Abraham. For you and your descendants, I will give all these lands, and I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham, your father. So Isaac is being connected to the blessings of his father. God never intended any generation to operate without alignment with the previous generation. What I've said is very powerful. Yeah, God never intended for any man or woman to live standing as one man guitar without alignment to others in the previous generation. Next verse. So God has instructed Abraham, and then he tells him, I will make, I mean, he's instructed Isaac. I will make your descendants multiply as the stars of heaven. And I will give to your descendants all these lands. And in your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Wow. It's the same words that were given in Genesis 12 to his father. Now, it's a generational blessing. It's been given to Isaac. Are we together? That's why now Isaac, after that, he had a problem with the wife and the king of uh, Philistines because of very beautiful wife, the dangers of beauty. This is a time, long time ago, we preached a message, the dangers of beauty in a women conference. But this, this is not a women conference. Yeah. So, uh, Abraham alikona wife beautiful, kukawana shida, wherever they used to go. Sasa unaona hata mtoto yake hata yako na shida wherever he goes. Verse 11 of this chapter 26 Abimelech akaambia ukicheza na hapo utapata shida. Anyway, verse 11 so Abimelech charged all his people saying, he who touches this man or his wife shall be put to death. So kuna story hapo ndo kajisome. Abimelech amekubalia Isaac akae into that land. By the way, we always need authorities to permit us yeah. If you go to a new town, I tell young preachers, you go to a new town, at unaenda kufanya kazi ya Bwana, tafuta wale wazee waliohubiri huko tangu hata unjazaliwa. Kama kuna haya kwa life, 
pelekea offering na uji introduce na useme umetumwa na nani usijitume tumwa ili uwe mtume maana kanisa ni la kitume we sent one of our sons to malindi ha huh? then gift god bless him i told him when you go to malindi i know there's a bishop there called kakala he's one of the old fathers look for him and i sent him money i said give this money to that man tell him i have sent you to him and then tell him to bless you and welcome me into malindi before we can do life church in malindi uh, yeah these are protocols naona kuna vijana hapo mnasikia vijana wale ambao si vijana mtafanyaje kwani sina ujumbe wenu okay verse 12 what does the bible say then first of all pause why do you hear the word then because what's about to happen is connected with the verse before maana amepewa ruhusa na president wa philistines anaitwa bimelech then isaac now ata wapi mambo ya mke wake wamekubaliwa kuishi huko he sowed in that land and he reaped in the same year a hundredfold and the lord blessed him hey i like it but don't think this blessing is a spiritual uh, just a few words uh, i just tap on your back and you are blessed uh, whatever he sowed now don't think this sowing ni kuweka 100000 in an envelope and give to an anointed man as in then have sold it goes beyond that in he tilled the land kuso hapa kwa shamba na avune hii ilikuwa ni kazi kubwa i don't know how many acres he sold he must have hired some equipment and implements to be able to sow he put in hard work because wealth is also as a result of hard work but what you need with your hard work is the blessing over your head so that as you put hard work the blessing is already over you because we have others putting hard work and a curse is over them thank god for jesus who gives us the privilege to come in and walk in the blessing hallelujah so in verse 29 of this chapter i close with this uh we'll pick tomorrow and share examples of uh rebecca's blessing uh read 20 the verse before i like reading verses from where there's a full stop but these are the people of gera where they saw how this man prospered they saw how i know we did not read verse 12 which says the man began to prosper and continued to prosper until isaac became very prosperous so the people of the land say we have suddenly seen that the lord is with you so we said let there be now an oath between us and between you and us and let us make a covenant with you that these people have seen this man is a serious business person a serious farmer he's already turning tables in our nation they said please let's come in agreement with you verse 29 he says that you will do us no harm since we have not touched you and since we have done nothing to you but good and have sent you away in peace uh, you are now the blessed of the lord hiyo ni ushuhuda ya watu wa mataifa wanasema isaac actually you are god tumeona hiyo baraka yake iko juu yako may that be testified by others about you you are now the blessed of the lord wewe umebarikiwa na bwana praise god ama wewe ni mubarikiwa so uh let me because we can't leave it hanging without jesus let's read acts chapter 3 verse 26 then we pray now when peter was preaching after the day of pentecost the following day the following couple of days he was telling these jewish people to you fast god having raised up his servant jesus sent him to do what today's blessing is passed on through jesus in turning away every one of you from your iniquities so when you get saved turn away from sin then you enter into the lineage of blessing and jesus begins to bless you so you need jesus for you to get a generation of blessing say amen ntachukulia hapo kesho na tuende ndani kidogo tunaamini kwamba mungu atatusaidia hii blessing tutaitrace mpaka ukiishi mwaka huu utakuwa ukijua wow mimi nimebarikiwa sana 
na wakati unalea watoto wako na unafanya huduma unajua kwamba hii baraka ni ya kweli praise god stand upon your feet we pray in jesus mighty name thank you lord baba tunaomba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumesikia neno limeingia katika nafsi zetu tunapoondoka kutoka ibada hii naomba baraka specially hii baraka zamani iliyopewa Adamu ikapewa Noa ikapewa Abraham ikapewa Isaac ndio hiyo ya Kristo Yesu Ah, na maana ametuokoa tuna nafasi ya kuwa baraka kwa vizazi zijazo baba ni asanti unatuonyesha huruma huruma zako na agano lako kwamba in a thousand generations we walk into this blessing of jesus asanti yesu ulituokoa ukatutoa kwa dhambi ukaondoa laana zetu na baraka za kristo ziko juu yetu na pia ziko ndani yetu tunapoondoka kutoka hapa we are not a uh, disa advantage we have the blessing advantage in our lives and i declare favor upon god's people whatever you go to do may you succeed whatever you go to undertake may you excel thank you father for hearing this prayer in jesus mighty name we pray and god's people say amen come on receive that in jesus precious name amen god bless you let's give an offering Uh, you are mature people you know every time we come to the house of God uh, we give we are so blessed some of us we preach and give we preach and give we preach and give and keep sowing and when we don't have we ask God hey send money that we can give you back is alive of constantly receiving constantly giving shalom enjoy your afternoon those who are online their numbers on the screen and those who are here the same the blessing of God is upon you shalom thank you